August 13, 20. Near a train trestle or road overpass in a northern city. The large steel I beams are painted somewhere between papaya, carrot, and rust. A black and white 11 by 17 inch flyer for a band we know from Canada. Or is it a chalkboard? A I P. The P stands for projectors. They're performing tonight. Not cool, because we are performing tonight on a different gig, and we should be opening for them. They're from Toronto, and pretty famous by our standards. We're friends with the drummer, who I imagine as supportive, unfailingly stylish, and deeply informed Dave Hartman from Southern Culture on the Skids. Meanwhile, there is concurrent video, which is a cross between Spotify and Scrabble, involving stringing letters together out of blocks, half-inch cubes of light-colored wood on soft white rope. I'm trying to connect four or five blocks together to form the baseline of a capital L. They're on the cord laterally pendulating back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Rivka, who co-sleeps with me, is involved as well. My mind has combined three different projects the two of us were involved in before bed last night. Looking at some computer code, Python libraries developed by this guy, Paul Lemire, which retrieve details about music and which are at or at least near the heart of this gargantuan tech company called Spotify. Spotify has Spotify has Spotify have notoriously been a significant contributor to the devaluing of recorded music as intellectual property over the last decade or so. I have always leaned towards William Burroughs' philosophy, who owns the word. In the not-so-distant past, from what I've read, artists wouldn't think of putting their names on their output. We were all working together to explore and expand the creative possibility and the artistic potential of our collective spirit. We were all working together to explore and expand creative possibility and the artistic potential of our collective spirit. Paul, the Python developer, has some articles on his web blog about generative music, in particular referencing a Steve Reich piece in which microphones are swung back and forth over a row of PA speakers adjusted to create a series of asymmetrically interwoven feedback pulses. Rivko was playing both sides of a two-player Scrabble game.